Hi everyone, welcome to Big Oggy Golf, welcome to Big Oggy Golf Diary. Kind of a behind the scenes right now, because I am currently at Bowood Park Golf Club near Camelford. However, I am not playing at the moment. I have various cameras on me, and I am taking pictures of all the tee box numbers, the tee box shots, and the approach shots in the greens. Hole six, green. Hole six, green. All for a course vlog that we'll be doing for the Cornish Quest. Well, hopefully by now, by the time you see this, um, pretty soon. There it was. It is, we don't Hello. Oh. Amazing how things aren't friendly when there's a camera involved. I understand. So, why may you ask, am I doing this? Why am I walking course, taking lots of photographs, etc.? Well, reason for that, I'm currently on the 12th of Boatwood, which is my favorite hole in the course. Reason is time. When we do a course vlog, it's not like playing normal golf. I've tried to explain it to people before, but it really isn't. And until you actually take part in one, you have no idea how long it takes to film an actual course vlog. Also, like what's gonna happen this week, we have to start super early to go on the course before anybody else in the hope that we don't really delay many other people who are playing at some point on the course and um, we also don't get sandwiched in between people because getting sandwiched in between people is a nightmare uh, as you would have probably seen on the viewed final part when we had to kind of rush everything so when finances are now when uh, time allows when weather allows i try and get onto a course a few days before we actually go on to do the main filming. And I can take all the bits and pieces of footage, especially on the Cornish Quest videos because we use those for the intros of all the holes. Also gives me a chance to take a look at the course, to meet up with the course managers or the owners and have a talk with them to see if there's anything they need us to discuss or uh, they want to talk about beforehand. And it just kind of makes everything run a bit smoother. And as the owner of the channel, the person who kind of organizes all these things, I'd, I'd like to try and be as relaxed as possible. And as you've seen on some older videos, that doesn't always happen because playing is hard enough, let alone herding kittens, which is basically what we do with the lads and um, keeping them all on track and also trying to all play well and also film. So it's key for me to try and get it done as much as possible. Typically around if you've got a couple of cameras, four people can take anything between six, if you're lucky, to eight hours. I know. Obviously that, that gives us time for breaks, we've also got to do intros, outros, all those kind of things. So it's, um, it's quite a busy old life being a YouTuber at times. If only I made more money, if only more of you got your friends to watch. Oh well. So, I'm going to crack on and finish off walking the back nine, take all my photos. And then we might, if we've got time, the weather's okay, might pop to my actual home club. So, here we are at my home club my home club, which until today was called Merlin. Merlin Golf Club. Now it's called Morgan Porth Golf Club. Basically because, well, no one knew where Merlin was, I believe. Uh, it's, so it's a bit of a chaotic day today. All the signs have just been taken down and they're trying to work out where all the, uh, well, what everything's got Merlin name on it, it's got to be changed. So welcome to Morgan Porth Golf Club. Also, if you see the flag at the moment that I've got that's uh, fluttering in the breeze at Bowood, been battered by the storms in recent months. It's St Piran's Day as I film this, and uh, that also happens to be my anniversary, my wedding anniversary to Kelly, Bug Golf Widow, 10 years. Happy anniversary, darling. And I'm out playing golf, and she's at home probably doing the ironing. <laughs> Sorry, love. Uh, so, I thought we'd go and play a few holes here today. There were only a few. Um, because I don't want to I'll probably injure myself before Friday. But it's also the fact, I don't know if you've been noticing, so I'm just looking to see around behind me. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, since Christmas, I've lost two and a half stone, working on losing a lot more. Um, and it's strange, when I've played recently, kind of, my swing feels differently. I feel like I'm able, whether it's true, to actually do a more full backswing before. Usually, if you've watched my channel, most of the time it's kind of a half swing. But then you don't get the confidence to want to try and give it a go. I've been working with a golf fitness 
coach uh, and do a mobility exercise as well. And we'll discuss more about that on another diary because I'm going to go up and uh, meet him. I'll do a couple of videos. If you're on Instagram, he's called uh, Joe from uh, Joe Macro Golf. Uh, take a look. But I've been doing lots of stuff with him recently. And I said, I've lost, I've lost a fair bit of weight. Obviously, got an awful lot to lose yet. But it's just kind of changing the way that I want to swing. I've not had a chance to have any lessons with Dan yet or any other uh, coach. So that needs to happen. But for today, we're just going to go for it today. Just, so it doesn't matter. This could be completely pants. This could be completely tits up today. But it doesn't matter because, because it's all about just going to fully swing everything, go for everything, not take that, go for that you know, half swing because you feel safe. We'll see what happens, shall we? Yeah. Also, we've got a little new camera at the moment because my old camera, my big one is currently on repair. Hopefully we'll be back by Friday. And the small camera that we use for the foodie stuff is literally on its last legs. So I've had to replace it with this one. Hopefully you can see. So this is a par four. It's the second hole at Morgan Porth Golf Club. I'm going to get used to that. Just going to swing and see what happens. It's a long way out and you kind of go around to the right past the trees when you get that far, which won't be us. So it's more of a swing, but has kind of gone to the right, which you, oh, you don't really want, but we'll find that. That's okay. Just feels strange. Obviously no warm up, apart from the fact I've walked the whole course at Bowood today. We keep going. Not necessarily in the right place, but going forward, that's an advantage. So on the right wasn't the best place to be. Morgan Porf, got it right today. Morgan Porf has uh, a lot of problems with the uh, thick rough. So we're going to probably try and hit a bit towards that bunker. Don't think I'm going to make the uh, green. Going with a five iron, but you never know. Let's go for things. Oh, I'll take that. I think that's back on the fairway. Woohoo! All right, just move this out of the way. The only way right now I can actually work out what's on the screen. So, that's pretty good. I don't have any water or anything today, so it's that far. Um, I'm going with a 50 wedge. Probably about 50 yards, 40, 50 yards. Okay, and we're going to go for everything today. I think we are going to go for everything. We keep going. So, you don't often see me get a chance of a par four on a par four. Not sure about the greens. The course is very wet. I was warned it was very wet. Um, it was closed yesterday due to flooding. So, I'm not sure how fast the greens are going to be. Just good to be out though, isn't it? Just for a few holes. Oh, close, close, but no cigar. That's good enough, though. Happy with that. Very happy. So let's move on to, uh, well, we'll play the next hole. Another uh, thing to par for. So this is hole number three at Morgan Porf. It's a par five. It's a pretty much dead straight par five. Lots of trees and rubbish on the right. We saw some of that coming back up the other way and lots more rubbish on the left. Now, I've always been afraid. Always been a bit of a fearful golfer, I guess. A lot of people are. But if you don't go for things, what's, well, what's the worst that can happen if you do go for it? You lose the ball. It's not going to kill you, is it? So we keep going. Wow. Wow. Well, I think for me, that's gone a long way and it's gone pretty straight. And I found my seat. I hope I can find the ball. I'm not used to it in that far. As a plane flies overhead, let's stop being afraid of golf. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Um, it's straight. I think it would have gone further if it wasn't so wet. 
Gotta be happy, gotta be happy. Go with a wood, go with a firewood. I gotta be pleased with that as well. Swinging freer, chest. Almost feel like a new man, like a new oggy. I do. So, like I said, it's pretty wet here right now. There's a lot of boggy areas. It's just really good to be able to get out at all. Move that out of the way. I'm going with a pitching wedge. I still think it's further away than a pitching wedge, but, and that's this ball's covered in mud, as you can tell. Um, but, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Proper swing, yeah? Well, oh, not bad, it's a little bit on the left. But that's okay. Distance is right. Okay, so, so come up a little bit short, but it's not too bad. I've got a kind of wedge out. Why I've got a wedge, I don't know. Well, because I've got to get an awful lot of rubbish past. Past rubbish, you know. Well, putting game's still not there, or pitching game's still not there, is it? Take that. Yep, take that. Okay, this hole is uh, another decent length par four. Trouble on both sides, quite narrow. We're gonna go for it, why not? That's what we're here for, to go for things today. Won't always come off. Well, it's high, but it's straight. Well, I'm a little bit shocked myself right now. We carry on, shall we? Hope I can find these balls, because you know. Hmm. So, there's the 150 marker just on the left. So that's really good distance to me. And that is carry because there is the hole I've just had to repair, which is where this ball landed and didn't go any further. It's about 100 and, well, say 160 yards. I'm going with a six arm, which I don't expect to go the distance, but I want to try and get closer, but avoid the pond. Oh, not good, John. Not good. Avoid the pond. Well, avoid the pond. Not everything's going to be perfect right now, but that's okay. Well, sometimes fortune favours the brave, does it not? Got away with that with the pond, didn't we? But it's just an experiment today, so I'm not going to panic. Probably about another mm, 50 yards, maybe 40, 50 yards. Going to 54 wedge. That's a bit scary for me. I just had up on the edge in the wet. Happy with that though. So about the length of my putter of long grass. Mud on the ball. Not bad, just gone past. Slightly past, nothing serious. Not sure if you can see me now, but that's close enough to me. Call that in, and crack onto the next hole. Fun this, I like this. So, I've jumped a load of holes. I'm on the 17th. Reason being that I'm not really supposed to be here today. I'm only supposed to be doing a bit of filming at Bowen. I told my wife I'd be home uh, in time for an anniversary dinner. Yeah, so also the 17th is a big par five, so we can, we can open up our arms a little bit. That's the plan anyway. Could be out of control, but hey. Well, it's a little bit to the right and I caught it a little bit off edge of the toe but that's okay that's okay we'll carry on we'll finish this hole anyway so i'm going to go with a five wood again still a long way to go this could go completely wrong it does what it does oh that's a bit right i know there's no one playing on that hole at the moment but we can't find it that's going to be the problem with over swinging now isn't it out of control. Still, we keep going. Theory is, right now, that a full length bad shot, full swing bad shot, goes further than a half swing bad shot. And if it was that bad a shot, and it was in the trees and bushes, 
I'd lose it anyway, but I wouldn't be anywhere near as close to the green. So I've still got space here. I'm on the other fairway for the 18th. Would have been a great shot for the tee off of the fairway. But um, yeah, we've got a shot in and it's a bit closer than what I would have been if I just done a little safe shot. The mud. Yeah, short of the green, which is what I expected. I mean, I, I don't know distances right now, so I'm just kind of guessing, but uh, happy with that, happy. Okay, so last hole for me today. I'm gonna use a little pitching wedge. Got stuck in the grass here. So, oh, pinned it. Sometimes going for things ain't always gonna work, are they? Let's finish it there. Got people coming behind, so we're rushing a little bit. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Been a bit of an experiment today. Um, not always gonna work. Sometimes it will. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, come and join us on Big Eye Golf, my wife and I on, over on Big Eye World. Better mention it, she'll kill me if I don't. And uh, join the uh, forum, we've got a free forum. Come and join the Buccaneers if you wanna pay a few quid to help this channel keep going. And obviously, if you wanna come and join the golf day, there are probably only a few spaces left now. As I'm filming this, I've just sold another eight spaces. So things are moving very quickly. Bye everybody. It was worth trying. Yeah, I finned it. It doesn't matter.